Well, hello all. So, unfortunately, I got a lot of complaints yesterday about my video because it didn't uh, have music on it. And unfortunately, YouTube is so uptight about copyright music, they don't even know or bother to read your video to see where the music came from, which it yesterday's came from YouTube Library, where they say to get the music for your videos. But they gave me a strike anyway and told me I had to get rid of the music, so that's why there was no music on the video. So today I'll try it again, and we'll see if we can put on YouTube's music, the stuff that they have in their library library and they say is perfectly fine to put on their vi on the videos on YouTube. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, the reason we're inside is because my left knee went out and is aching like crazy so I can't go hiking. So I'll uh, spend the day icing it and uh, trying to stretch it out and uh, make it feel better. So, with that, let's talk about climate change. The UN is calling for radical changes to stem warming. Tackling climate needs a rapid transformation of the way our world works, travels, eats, and uses energy, according to an important UN review. While progress has been made, efforts now needs a massively scaled up effort. The report calls for radical decarbonization with a fast phase out of fossil fuels without carbon capture nonsense schemes. There's no such thing as carbon capture other than planting trees and uh, greenery. You need more than just lawns. You need a forest kind of thing to carbon capture. Renewable energy also needs expansion while deforestation needs to be halted and reversed by 2030. The stock take report, which is the, re, the UN report, will be considered by political leaders and will be central to global climate talks in Dubai that happened last week. Later this year, unfortunately, the issue of global population are is often ignored. This issue must be addressed as it is closely related to an increased demand for food, water, and an increased number of resources and increased wastewater and waste in itself. The people don't think that overpopulation will bother anything, but it really does. It, they demand more resources, more water, more food, more land, and more resources to build things like buildings and houses and that sort of thing. And then we have to have a, an ever-ending increased way of getting way to, rid of waste and waste water from all sorts of industries and human activity. According to a new report, it takes over 200,000 years for human populations to reach 1 billion and was estimated to occur during the 19th century. Comparatively, the world population is currently over 8 billion in climbing and is expected to reach 8.5 billion by the 2030s. Well, it's going to be a lot sooner than that. The population is growing very quickly and will be at 9 billion before you can uh, even blink your eye practically because people are still having babies uncontrollably all over the world. They, they, the, the females think they to have a family, they have to birth a baby. But here's what the UN is saying we should do. They're saying that there should be a one-child law throughout the planet and that the second and third children come from adoption. And that way we can put unwanted children into homes. There are so many children that need homes and that are being neglected. And it doesn't matter the blood type. Blood type is meaningless as far as a family goes. Many, many families have grown up with all adopted children and have been just fine without having to worry about the blood type and all that kind of nonsense. It's just amazing the, uh, the brainwashing that takes place about how we have to birth children and that we have to have the same blood type as the mother and father. Unbelievable. I mean, who goes around testing people for their blood and making sure that their kids are the same blood type. Really, that just doesn't happen. And why even worry about blood type? Why don't you worry about whether the children are looked after? 
much school as they go to, and whether they have clothes on their back and uh, have a decent family to go home to, and uh, that type of thing. Don't worry about the blood type. So many other things to worry about when bringing up a family. And that way we can control our numbers and start reducing the human population. Do I think this is going to happen? Absolutely not. The politicians and the people in the, that do studies never talk about human overpopulation or overuse of resources and uh, that sort of thing. And it's like an ever-ending flow of humans coming out and there's no stopping it. And they probably will never stop it until it's absolutely too late and we don't have enough food to feed all these humans or enough fresh clean water or enough places to put the people in housing. We already see that now with tremendous amounts of homelessness all over the U.S. and Canada and other parts of the world. It's happening but we choose to ignore it and drive by it even though it's right there before we birth yet another child. Alright people, with that I'm going to go and upload this video and put on some music and we'll see what happens with YouTube. I appreciate any comments you have, any ups and new subscribers, and until next time.